Hello, everyone. Welcome to my new setup here. EMB Geeks. Uh, a drinker's bar and grill. So I did a video not too long ago breaking down kind of the song from Hardy, uh, Wait in the Truck. And I seemed to get some decent response to it in news. Uh, it was very emotional and impactful for me. So I'm going to do another video talking about this song, uh, also by Hardy. This is now more hard rock, heavy metal. And those are the two genres I grew up on, country music and rock. And, you know, this song here uh, is another one like the last one that just impacts me heavily uh, based on a lot of things. So we'll go into that in just a little bit, but here you go. Hardy Jack. Hey, kid, let me introduce myself. I was a friend of your dad's when he had no one else. I put the party in your life, boy, you know I can. Have you ever wanted to feel like Superman? Oh. Haunting. Oh. I see that blonde hair over there looking at you. You want to say what's up, I can't work up the courage to. But if you stick with me, buddy, you can bet your life she'll be walking out with you by the end of the night. So don't listen to mama, hell I ain't the devil. Ditch me with you wanna, but if you need a little, I can fix your problems. I always get you. I can make you famous by the way my name is. Oh, 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 oh,
2016, I was coping with a lot of shit. Uh, had shit with one of my kids because my kid was doing what is going on here. She was spiraling down in drugs. Uh, 2016, we referred to as a dark year. It was so hard. Uh, almost cost us my marriage. And uh, she was descending into drugs and madness, and I was descending into alcohol and madness. Fortunately, uh, she went to juvenile detention uh, and then eventually uh, got into peer counseling, which is what I wanted her to have. But unfortunately, I ran into this issue with there was no peer counseling available for my daughter. All I could do was one on one with some adult and she didn't want to talk to him. She wanted to be able to. I knew she needed to talk to people who had already experienced what she's going through. And the only way it was going to happen is if she was a ward of the system. And they pretty much told me that. There was nothing available for us back then uh, anywhere. And we tried. We looked. We looked everywhere. And it just wasn't there. Uh, I went to rehab uh, shortly after she went to juvenile detention because, well, I got caught. I got I got caught. It's as simple as that. I was at work and I, I was at work and somebody smelled alcohol in my breath, even though I hadn't had anything. Uh, the night <laughs> in like eight hours, I had to go take a piss test and I had the equivalent of one beer in my system still. So I hadn't had anything to drink in eight fucking hours. And I still had the equivalent to one beer of alcohol in my system. And I took the piss test at about 11 o'clock in the morning. I think it was around 11, maybe eight, nine. I don't remember. And that was a good thing. That was really a good thing that they caught that. Because uh, I needed that help. And my daughter needed that help. And I know so many of my friends who got into drugs and got into heavy drinking. And, and uh, it destroyed them. Some of them are dead. Some of them are in jail right now. Uh, a few, very few of them are still out. So this is why songs like this are so powerful to me. Because of the fact that I've seen what this does. Yeah, it, it, it seems like all fun and games. Now I want you all to understand, I am I am 100% for weed being legal. I grew up around weed. There was never a fear of that. When I saw my mom snorting cocaine, that was something I was concerned about. When everybody was drunk and driving and I'm in the back seat of a car, yeah, I worried about that. Uh, and it affected me, obviously. And, uh, but... I ended up in the same circles with friends and you know, drinking, drugs. Weed was one thing, but some people who are going for those hardcore things. And I'm like, guys, I can't be around you. You do this. I was like, I can't do it. I'm like, I've seen what the shit does. And I lost a lot of friends because of that, but I had to take care of myself. So it's hard. That downward spiral, because once that once you get hooked. Once that hook is on you, it's hard to get out. You'll steal. My daughter stole. Hell, I had her on camera stealing. I had a safe stolen. That's why I had my cameras installed. Then she stole again after the cameras were in. So I've seen what drugs can do to a person uh, firsthand in so many ways. That's what makes this powerful. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy. Sorry if my end of the story was a little long. Take care. May the force be with you.